So I want to run through and get through this last worksheet, um, and we'll just begin. So first thing is we want to write down what each of these letters stands for in these three equations that we're going to use. And um, basically, this is how it is. So the letters stand for the following things. This, actually, I want to have this little thing fill in for everything here. Hang on a sec. So basically, this is how this is going to work. So v is the final velocity. Um, v naught is the initial velocity. A is acceleration. T is time. X is final position. And X naught is initial position. So those are the um, basic labelings on the problems. Now, this is the recipe that we actually follow to solve equations, and I'm going to be using each of these to solve all the problems that we do um, for this worksheet. So, um, first question, we have a car that goes 60, miles, 60 meters per second and slows down to 0 meters per second in one second. We want to find the acceleration of the stopping distance. The way we do that is we realize, well, that's step one. Let's label all our letters. So that's v naught. that's the final, the time is one second. So this is the first part of our recipe. The second part of our recipe, we will actually fill in each of the letters and see what those numbers are equal to. So we have here. Um, if I don't tell you what x on it is, assume it's 0. We don't know x final. We know that v is 0, v naught is 60. We don't know the acceleration, but we know the time is 1 second. Uh, now, for step 3, let's actually draw a picture of the situation. So we have a car here, and then it just stops here. So we'll say v is 0, v naught is 60. This happens over 1 second meters per second. And that's basically how we do this. Now, for 4, I'm going to plug every number into every equation and see what happens. So I start with v equals a t plus v naught. Let's put in numbers. I have 0 equals a times 1 plus 60. Cool. Now let's plug in the second equation. I have v squared equals v naught squared plus 2 times a times x minus x naught. When I put the numbers in for that, I'm going to end up getting 0 squared equals 60 squared plus 2 times a times x minus 0. So I can't really do anything with that one. And then for the third one, I have x equals 1 half a times t squared plus v naught t plus x naught. Again, let me put in numbers and see what I get. So I will end up getting x equals 1 half a unknown times 1 squared plus 60 times 1 plus 0. So really, the only equation I can solve here to begin with is the first equation. So I get an acceleration of negative 60 meters per second squared. Now I can go ahead and use that to solve by plugging into the equation here. So when I do that, I will actually end up getting a displacement of, let I do this right. Um, so I will actually just take this equation here. Let's just move it here. And uh, now I can actually put in 60 here. So I'm going to end up getting um, 3,600 uh, divided by negative 120. And so this gives me a displacement of um, so negative 3,600. That ends up actually giving me 30 meters of displacement for this first problem. All right. Now for the second problem, um, we had a smart car that was going at 70 miles an hour and it smashed. So we had 53.1 meters per second for its initial speed. Um, it smashed into a wall um, and we actually had to, um, we realized that it did this over a distance of about one meter um, for the compression. So basically we had this car like this. And then the after picture was like this. So x naught, and then x is 1 right here. So I kind of did step 3 first, and this is step 2 right here. Um, if I don't tell you, x naught should be 0. 
and um, the acceleration is unknown and the time is unknown and that's what we wanted to solve for. Um, so again, I can plug numbers into here and basically say, okay, 0 equals a times my unknown t um, plus 53.1. So I can't really do anything with that first equation. Let's try the second equation. v squared equals v naught squared plus 2 times a times x minus x naught. Um, so I'm going to end up getting 0 equals 53.1 squared plus 2 times a times 1 minus 0. When I isolate the acceleration, I'm going to end up getting so. I'm getting a pretty big number here. I'm getting um, fifty-three point. I'm actually getting about um, fourteen hundred meters per second squared. So I don't know if these are actually the numbers that we've worked with in the original problem, but I'm saying if this was the initial speed, this is what we get. So actually, this is for a smart car running at 120 miles an hour into a wall. We're getting negative 1,400 meters per second squared. So just so you know, if you're in a smart car going 120 miles an hour um, into a wall, you will not die. You will not live because the acceleration you can survive is 400 meters per second squared, and we're getting almost three times that. Uh, now, we can actually go back and get the time here in the first equation by doing v equals negative 1400 t plus 53.1, and we'll put in 0 here. And so what we get for the time, it ends up being, wow, um, 0 0.037 seconds. So, like, we're talking 37 milliseconds of time. That's pretty devastating. Um, so I'm going to actually skip ahead and not do all the video problems. I'm going to skip ahead to this problem right here, and um, that'll be the last problem I do on this worksheet. So, um, this appears to be x final. The time is 10 seconds. So let's label, that's step one done. Now let's go ahead and label all our variables in the various steps. All right, so this last problem, uh, we will go ahead and label all our letters. So we have x naught, x, v, v naught, a, and t. And what are each of these equal to? We'll see x naught zero, because they don't tell us what it is, so assume it's zero. Um, 60 meters, uh, we know that v naught, it starts from rest. That's what this means, so I should have labeled that. Um, and so I don't know v final, I don't know the acceleration. And I know the time is 10 seconds, so let's plug in numbers and see what we get into the... Actually, this is step four. For step three, I'll draw a picture here. We get a car here, um, v equals zero, v naught equals zero, and then it kind of speeds up. Um, and we get our time of 10 seconds, and this happens over 60 meters. All right, so now we can plug in numbers. So I'm going to end up getting um, v equals a times 10 plus 0. Can't really do anything with that, so let's try the second equation. v squared equals v naught squared plus 2ax minus x naught. Um, so I'm going to end up getting v squared equals 0 squared plus 2 times a times 60 minus 0. So I guess I'm stuck using the third equation, so let's hope that it works. x equals 1 half a t squared plus v naught t plus x naught. So I'm going to end up getting 60 equals 1 half times a times 10 squared plus 0 plus 0. And so I'm going to end up getting an acceleration of 120 over 100, which is going to be 1.2 meters per second squared for my acceleration. Now I can go ahead and plug that in the first formula. So now plug in equals a t plus v naught. So that's going to be... Um, v equals 1.2 times 10 plus 0. So v ends up being 12 meters per second as our final answer. So that's worksheet number three worked out, and I'm going to put all this up on the website.